Hello, this is Ahmed Jishti with Hybrid IT Services. Um, in the previous video, we have shown you the unboxing of uh, the unit itself with all the accessories came in. Uh, in this video, we are going to show like how all these parts are connected and things that we require for the unit to the car uh, at the bare minimum level without like going in any further uh, complexities of installing the other components of the unit. In this video, we'll show you like what are things required for the DVR to function properly connected with one camera and the power source which are required. So this is the product itself. We can see all the connections here. The camera is connected with the any one of these four cables here. It could say AV, IN4, IN3, 2 or 1. These are uh, the units which are capable of recording four cameras at one time so this indicates that we have connected the camera with the AV4 like channel 4 of the DVR so when we play back this video um, on the playback software you can see like four cameras and it shows the recording on um, the channel 4 the other three other slots are empty we don't require them this is a power cable the red and yellow one are for the positive um, which need to be connected with at least 5 ampere switch in the vehicle circuit board the black wire here is for the ground earth this is an extra cable which we don't require so during this uh, video we'll just like show you like what is the bare minimum requirements for one camera to record or multiple cameras to record at the same time uh, with the GPS coordinates being stored in the DVI itself if you don't want any advanced installation, uh, you can just like take these this accessory out. Well, and this is the GPS antenna connected to here. Make sure once you, the unit installed, it has to be on inside top corner or on the dashboard somewhere mounted. It has adhesive tape on it. You just peel it off, and you can connect it in the dashboard.